Hello, this is Niall from AG Grid. In version 9 of AG Grid, we released a prototype of our new enterprise row model. This video is going to give you an overview of what this row model is and what you can expect from it in future versions of AG Grid. To see this prototype, if you go to our documentation and go to our row models section and select enterprise. The enterprise row model will allow you to lazy load your groups of data from the server as the user expands and collapses the group rows. Now this data you can know how it's grouped beforehand or you can get the user to choose which columns you're going to group and aggregate from on the fly, which is known as slicing and dicing of data. Now that's a bit of a mouthful, so it's best we look at some examples to demonstrate what we mean. In the documentation, we have three examples. Two of them are purely client-side but mocked servers. One is predefined master detail. That means that the grid is already set up with a particular type of grouping. So here it's grouped by country only and you can't change what you're grouping by. The second example that we have is slicing and dicing. What that means is that your grid can group by anything which you have allowed to group by and then the server will group and aggregate based on what you've grouped from. Again, this is with a mocked server. Our third example, which is up on GitHub, shows you how to do grouping with a real server, where we have an implementation using MySQL. So let's look at the last one now, which is the most interesting one, which is slicing and dicing the data in real time using a real server. To run this project locally, go to the GitHub page, and follow the instructions on how to run. I've got this project running locally. Here I have it running on my localhost 3000. And when I do a refresh, it loads all of the data up without any grouping. Now, if I make this window smaller, we can see in the background, in, in IntelliJ, which I'm using for this example, this is the SQL that's executed on the server side. If I then group by, for example, country. The grid sends this information down to the server and the server auto-generates the SQL that's needed to bring the data back by country. So here you can see that it's summing by gold, min by silver and max by bronze. That's because in the values I've got those aggregations selected for those columns. Let me take these away from the values and here now you can see that the SQL is simply selecting country and grouping by. I'll bring those values back in. Let's go gold, silver, and bronze. Now if I am to drill down, again, SQL is generated on the server side and returns what the grid needs, which is give me everything which was underneath Armenia. Now this is true slicing and dicing. I can pick any of the columns and as many columns as I like to group by. So let's also bring year up to the group and let go. And here I can see that it's grouped by year in the SQL. If I drill down, it'll show me the countries underneath that year, again using SQL. And if I drill again, it brings me back the lowest level records. In this example, we're connecting to MySQL, but the information to create the SQL is passed from the grid down to your server. So there's nothing stopping you from creating your own connector to connect to any data source that you like, even if it's a NoSQL data store. Now that you've seen a end-to-end -end example using a server, let's go back to the documentation and look at the two examples that are using mocked servers again. The first one, predefined master detail, that means that the server knows what you're grouping by, so it only needs to be prepared to accept requests for listing all of the countries or listing the details for a country. Because the example knows what to expect, then if we look at the JavaScript, you will see in its data source, when get rows is called, it basically has an if statement. If we're doing the top level, bring back the country list, otherwise, bring back the country details. And finally, let's take a look at the example for slicing and dicing with a mock server. But let's do this in a new tab because we're going to bring up the console. Now here, we can group by any rows that we want. I beg your pardon, we can group by any columns that we want. So let's group by country, 
and by year put year before country and we'll drag down two rows and let's go into the code for our data source and have a quick look at what comes down in the request so let me bring Croatia open now if I look at the request I can see that it has the row group calls which are the two columns that we're grouping by country and year and it also has the group keys so it tells me year is 2002 and country is Croatia we also have the value columns which tells me what aggregations to apply on the different columns so here I can see gold is looking for a sum and with all of that information your server side can then build the SQL or equivalent to pull back the information the user is looking for. So that is the Enterprise Row model. If you have any feedback for us then please use the form below. Thank you very much for listening.